Rich Morris from The Singing Drummer here, um, down in the basement, and uh, have some news. Last weekend, you know, we've been talking about moving this piano down to the basement, and, um, well, ta-da, it's here, so now I feel like I can move on and get some other stuff done. Um, this has been quite a long time in the making and had some friends come over and help and uh, show you a quick clip of it. So this piano has actually been in my family for, uh, I guess it's coming up on uh, 80 to 100 years, something like that. It's about a 150 year old piano. Um, it's a long drawn out story, but basically I had moved back to Kentucky, not back, I was never from there, but I found out later after moving there that my family actually came from there. So my great grandfather and great-grandmother may have moved this from Kentucky out to Washington State or possibly picked it up along the way. Um, and this piano was in my house growing up, my parents' house growing up. And before that it was in my grandparents' house. Um, and all of my, my dad and my aunts, they all took piano lessons on this piano, I believe. So there are some discrepancies. This was either in an aunt's house or somebody. Anyway, when I went to go move down to Kentucky, my dad said, I'm not moving the piano. They were going to retire down there. I'm not moving the piano. You're moving the piano. You get the piano. You get to move it. So uh, we rented a truck and I drove it down to Kentucky. Very, very long story cut very, very short. I ended up moving back up to Washington, actually to Oregon. And that piano stayed in storage back there for about eight years till I was finally able to, my wife and I finally able to uh, get a place and we brought it back and had some work done on it at a, a lovely shop that is no longer in existence here in, in Portland called the Immortal Keyboard, I believe is what it's called. Um, and they pretty much brought it back to life. Now it's no longer a, a delicate, sensitive instrument. It is a... You have to play it with some force, but it still works and it still can make some music. So that's what we're planning on doing it for. Uh, and then brought it into our little house that's only 800 square feet upstairs. And that's 20 square feet. That's prime real estate. That's like New York. That's like Manhattan. That's expensive. You, you can't take up that kind of real estate. So I told the wife, uh, as soon as we can get the basement finished, which the basement's pretty well finished, I'm going to get it downstairs in the basement. And that's what we did last weekend. So here it is in its forever home. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but anyway, if the story interests you or anything that we're doing here interests you, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, the share, the bell notification, everything you can. Any, any little bit helps with growing the channel. We appreciate your support. And we'll see you soon, hopefully with some singing drum covers. All right, thanks. Have a great day.